Good day to everyone. We continue to learn Sapphire 3D and in this lesson we will finish creation of architectural model of our building. Find the button New Story on the Structure panel and click on it. In dialog box Create New Story type Number of Stories 4 and Story Height 4000. Then check Copy Elements and click on the button Filter. In dialog box Objects Filter uncheck Designation and click OK. In dialog box Create New Story click OK. Click on the button Fit in Window on the Projections and Views panel to see the entire model image. In Panel Structure double click on the line Story number 4. Click on the button Plus and click with the right mouse button on the light column and select Command Select. On the Edit tab on the panel Select Objects find the button Select Up and click on it. Then in the dialog box Properties of 22 Objects find the line Capital and click on this button. In dialog box Capital click on the button Delete. Press Escape to unselect columns. Click and hold right mouse button and rotate model to see thickening in the fifth story slab. Select thickening and press on the button delete. On the visualize panel from the drop down list story select story number 5. By this command we have set story number 5 as current. You can also set story as current by double click in the structure panel. Select slab and click on the button copy. Then click on the button paste. Now there are two slab models in the same level within the story and one of them remains selected. Since an element of slab type is selected, the properties bar of the application tool displays the properties of slab tool. Select Snap from Story Top and press Escape to unselect Slab. Select Opening and click on the button Delete. Set Story number 1 as Current and click on the button Active Story. With pressed button Shift select Thickening and Opening in the Slab and press Delete. Select Slab and click on the button Convert to Foundation Slabs. In Properties bar set Slab Thickness 600 mm. In Properties panel find the block Boundary Conditions. Set value C1 as 1000 ton force per meter in cube. In the line Restraints click on the button 3 points and in dialog box Restraints check directions X and Y and click OK. Press Escape to unselect Foundation Slab. Click on the button Top View. Then click with right mouse button anywhere in graphical window and select Command Rotate. In dialog box Enter Rotation Angle type 270 degrees and click OK. To move UCS reference mark click with right mouse button on the closest left slab corner and select command to point. Now let's create ramp. Click on the button Line and in Properties bar set the following. Construction method Segment be sure that chain and close are unchecked. Line weight basic 6, color red. Perform the drawing of the first forming line by the following points. Coordinates of the start point are x0, y2000. Of the end point are x0, y6000. Perform the drawing of the second forming line by the following points. Coordinates of the start point are x 10,000, 
y 14,000. Of the endpoints are x 6,000, y 14,000. Select construction method arch P1, P3, P2. Select first point. Then select third point. And set coordinates of second point x 8000, y 6000. Press escape twice. Select first forming line and click on the button Move by Coordinates. In dialog box Move Objects set increment Z as 4000 mm and click OK. Press Escape to unselect line. With pressed button Shift select trajectory, first forming line and second forming line one by one. On the tab Create Click on the button 1 trajectory and 2 generatrices. Press the button delete on your keyboard to delete selected lines. Select created surface and in dialog box properties in the line material click on the button 3 points. In dialog box materials select RC slabs from the list and click OK. Set interpretation bearing, number of parts in generatrix 8, shell thickness 180, and normal displacement of surface minus 90. Press escape to unselect the ramp, click on the button isometry, then in visualization panel Click on the button Active Story. Click with right mouse button anywhere in graphical window and select Common to Origin. We have finished the creation of architectural model and at this stage I propose to finish this lesson. Don't forget to save your project and see you on the next lessons.